Uh, Bob, it's good to see you again, especially it's, it's been a while. I do wonder whether or not you thought the jobs number uh, does move the needle in terms of a taper announcement timing and whether or not that's positive or negative for equities. Uh, I'll go one step further from Steve. I already wonder, is the Fed behind the curve? I think that's the question we have to ask. Remember, rates are zero, and the hourly number from Friday year over year has now crossed 4%. Uh, I'm worried that the Fed's going to lag the curve too much and needs to get started. So I would think a strong hint in September and probably starting before the end of the year. Uh, Valerie, you think markets primed for that kind of calendar? Well, I think we have to look at some of the data that's actually going to be coming out this week. Um, as someone just mentioned, we'll get the consumer price index data this week. And also, importantly, the producer price index, which will also give us another indicator of inflation. And then on Friday, we'll get a forward-looking indicator of how the consumer is doing in the uh, Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey. So I think that the, the challenge we have is that perhaps two months ago, everyone would have said, all is well, we really see a clear path, you know, out of this um, economic situation. But the Delta variant has quite frankly changed all of that. I think it's been much more of a severe um, impact than people had expected. Um, I don't know if ultimately some segments of the economy will have to shut down in order to control uh, the virus and, and give the healthcare system some time to recover. Um, but I think all of those are variables that will have to be taken into consideration as we move through the remainder of the year. Yeah, Bob, I mean, just taking those variables into consideration. Also, I know you just made the comment about the Fed potentially being behind the curve. But though we do know that a taper is coming, the timeline we have to see over the coming weeks, coming months, but we do know it's coming. So how does an investor position themselves right now, given all of these risks? So I think investors that have enjoyed this 100 percent move off the bottom in the last 18 months can afford to take a little money off the table, Morgan. Um, I'm not bearish. I just think it gets choppier from here. Everybody knows how good the economy and earnings are, um, but uh, not a lot of people are focused on the fact that 22 estimates are starting to come down a little bit, that the third quarter earnings are likely to be below the second quarter, even though they'll be healthy above last year's third quarter. So it's, uh, it, it's mostly positive. The old Tina, there is no alternative argument, uh, but I think it gets harder and choppier from here.